morning students. I am Ramlai Kate, Assistant Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Vidya Sahara Institute of Technology and Science. So now I am going to teach the subject is uh, Thermal and Hydro Primers. So in the previous class uh, I have discussed in the actual cycles analysis of simple cycles. So the actual cycles is nothing but the ideal cycle. Ideal cycle. Second one is open cycle. Third one is closed cycle. So this is the actual cycles analysis of simple cycles. So actual cycles and uh, simple cycles is nothing but the same as well as the the simple cycles like uh, ideal cycle, closed cycle, open cycle. Okay. So we are discussing about these cycles in the previous class as well as the performance test on the gas turbines. So these are all the uh, thermal efficiency, work ratio, pressure ratio, these are all uh, talking about uh, in the previous class. Okay. Then in this class, I have discussed the simple cycles and cycles with the intercooling, intercooling, reheating and regeneration. So here in this class, I have discussed about this simple cycles, simple cycles like uh, ideal cycle, closed cycle, open cycle. So that belongs to simple cycle. If you take the ideal cycle, closed cycle, the, uh, closed cycle and the open cycle, it has intercooling, that has the intercooling and the reheating and regeneration. So these topics, today's class we are discussing, this is the third unit, last topic of theory. Okay, so last topic of theory, after completion of this one, I will, expo I will uh, explain the problematic uh, uh, part. So that is the, belongs to gas turbines, uh, like uh, performance uh, test. So performance test, uh, they given the problem and we will, we will uh, solve that particular problems. So these are the... Um, these are the main concept of that uh, third unit. So it is a very little unit of uh, third unit that is the gas turbines. So this is the last topic of uh, uh, third unit. So in this uh, third unit that is the simple cycles are uh, cycles with uh, intercooling, reheating and regeneration. Okay, so next. In this uh, method to improve it, of thermal efficiency of open cycle gas turbine. So we see here, these are the methods to improvement. So in this uh, methods to improvement of uh, thermal efficiency of open cycle gas turbines. So we have to see the first thing is the uh, first topic is the intercooling. And the second thing is the reheating. Third one is the regeneration. So first of all, the what is meant by intercooling. So in this intercooling, we have to cool it. Inter. So that is the we have to give the cooling. Uh, we have to give the some cooling uh, with the help of the um, air coolers like that. And the reheating, reheating in the sense of already heated uh, some uh, some uh, heat will be there. And again we have to give the heat. Then it's called the reheating and the regeneration. This process is belongs to regeneration. So already generation, uh, regeneration power will be there. Then we have to do the regeneration that like uh, uh, things are uh, important cases. These three important cases is the, the methods to improve it in the gas turbines like uh, uh, intercooling, reheating, regeneration. So now I am going to explain about the intercooling. So intercooling. Then after completion of the intercooling, then go for the reheating. After completion of the reheating, then followed by the regeneration. Okay, is it clear? So 
Now I am going to explain about the intercooling. <coughs> so we have to see here this is the first topic of the methods to implement of the to met methods to implement of the uh, gas turbine. So we have to see that is the first topic is uh, intercooling. So in this intercooling, a compressor utilizes the major percentage of power developed by the gas turbine. So we have to see a compressor. A compressor utilizes the major percentage of power developed by the gas turbine. Power will be developed by the gas turbine. Power will be developed by the gas turbine. So a compressor utilizes the major percentage of power. So the compressor major percentage of power will be utilized, utilized and developed by the gas turbine. So we have to see here this is the tail and the first thing is here the air air in in this air it is uh, enter into the compressor that is the LP compressor in this the first one to two process that is the compressor the main concept of the compressor is to compress the air to compress the air okay and uh, it will go to it will uh, intercooler some we are discussing about the intercooler so intercooling so we we fixed here this is the intercooling intercooling it has uh, some denotions by in this way so that is the intercooling first the air into the compressor air into the compressor and then go for the intercooler okay intercooler and the third point and third a step is it is uh, enter into the HP compressor. We are uh, seeing it here is the C equal to compressor. The compressor. And then and again it will went to 3 to 4 process. The first 1 to 2 dash process that is the compressor and P compressor. And then 2 to 3 that is the intercooler. Okay. And then this is the 3 to 4 dash process HP compressor. The main concept of the uh, compressor is to compress the air. Okay, then, um, then it is a 4 to 5, 4 dash to 5. This is the CC fuel heat combustion chamber. Here we can call it as CC is combustion chamber. Combustion chamber. Okay, then. After completion of that uh, fuel heat, that is the combustion, combustion chamber, then go into the turbine. So this is the turbine. In this regards, in this regard, this is the turbine. So in this uh, five to six days, this is the, it will be exhaust. So it will be exhaust and work will be done here. That is the work. Okay, is it clear? And um, this is the. Finally, what I am saying is that the intercooling a compressor utilizes the major percentage of the power power developed by the gas turbines. And then the work required, the, we have to see that is the uh, intercooling, the work required by the compressor can be reduced by uh, compressing compressing the air in two stages and incorporation the incorporation the intercooler between the two so we have to see here this is the fuel already air into the system air into the system in this LP compressor to compress the air on completion of the compressor it is that we have to use this uh, intercooler and then go for the um, uh, HP compressor on completion of the HP compressor it will end to the combustion chamber in this combustion chamber, fuel heat, heat in this uh, uh, fuel, combustion chamber, how uh, uh, heat will be produced and the, the fuel will be heated and then go, go to the uh, turbine. Okay, so that is the after uh, completion of this turbine, then go for the exhaust and the, what will be produced. One side of uh, work will be produced and the other side of exhaust will be there. Okay, then the two work requires. So the work. The work required by the compressor, the work required by the compressor can be reduced by compressing, by the rate can be reduced by the compressing the air in the in the two the air, the air in two stages. 
the air in two stages and incorporation a intercooler between the two. So intercooler between the two. So this is the main, this is the thing of in this meaning of calpy compressor and the HP compressor in this uh, two stages and incorporation a intercooler between the two, between the two intercooler cooler will be there. This is the thing of uh, intercooler that is the uses of the intercooler. Okay. And the process we are uh, discussing about here the processing uh, we required and we should know the processing how it will be happen there. So we have to see one to two process what will be happen and two to three process what will be happen and three to four process what will be happen and four to five five to six uh, process what will be happen we have to see in this diagram. So that is the what we have see here is the one to two dash LP compression. So we have to see here this is the one one to two dash process one to two dash process LP compressor LP compressor and the two dash to three. So two dash this is the two dash two dash to three. This is the first stage. And the, this is the first stage, and this one is the 2 dash to 3. This is the second stage that is intercooling. So, intercooling will be there in the HP, HP compressor and LP compressor between them. Between them, we have to install in this between that is uh, LP compressor as well as the HP compressor. Okay, then. This is the 1 to 2 pro, 1, 1 to 2 dash, that is the process 1. So LP compression and the 2 to 3, 2 to 3 intercooling. So 2 dash, 2 dash to 3 inter, this is the intercooling. Intercooling. Okay. Is it clear? And 3 to 4, 3 to 4 dash. So 3 to Four dash. This process is this process HP compressor. HP compressor. HP compressor. And four dash to five. This is the four dash to five. Okay. We have to see here. This is the four dash to five. In this case. In this case is combustion, in this case is combustion chamber. So this is the combustion, combustion chamber. Okay. In this case, combustion chamber is heat the fuel plus air. And then the five to, uh, five to six dash. 5 to 6 dash. This is the, this case is the turbine expansion. This is the turbine. Turbine expansion. Okay. So this is the process of uh, intercooling. This is the flow diagram of uh, T uh, temperature and the entropy. This is the Temperature, temperature and the entropy, entropy we can call it as S, in this S and this one is uh, temperature, okay. So this is the PV, uh, this is the TS diagram for uh, intercooling, that is the, these are all the processes that we have to see here. This is the process one. Now I'm repeating again. So that is the one to two process. So one to two process LP compression. Then uh, one to two dash. Then two dash to three. Two dash to three intercooling. Then three to four dash temperature HP uh, HP compressor. Okay HP compressor. Then four dash to uh, then 4 dash to 
fire that is the uh, combustion chamber means heat is heat is heat is will be created in this inside the combustion chamber and then um, five to five to six gas that is the turbine turbine or expansion okay is it clear so here uh, once again uh, we have to see here the intercooling has uh, some of the process will be there the processes is 1 to 2 LP compression 2 to 3 intercooling 3 to 4 HP compression and combustion chamber then turbine or expansion okay then um, here the work ratio is increased thermal efficiency decreases okay so we have to see here this is the thermal efficiency graph regarding in this uh, thermal efficiency graph so percentage of uh, thermal efficiency okay this is a simple and this is a uh, intercooled uh, this graph is uh, we see here in this uh, dotted lines is uh, uh, intercooled and the, uh, this is a curved line this is the simple turbine okay then <coughs> So work ratio is increased, work ratio is increased, thermal efficiency decreases. So work ratio is increases, work ratio is, in, this is the work ratio, this one is the work ratio. So in this uh, work ratio is increased, when the work ratio is increases, when the work ratio is, work ratio is increases, thermal, thermal efficiency is decreased. So this is increases in this uh, line, uh, in this uh, y axis that is thermal efficiency is decreases. And then but it increases at the high pressure ratio and it is increases at high pressure ratio. At high pressure ratio okay then the second point is uh, reheating so that uh, in this reheating the, the output of gas turbine can be improved by expanding by expanding the gases in two stages with a reheater between the two so here I already observed we are uh, uh, already observed this is the uh, air into into the system this is the this is the compressor and the lp compressor this one is the lp compressor and it will go into the uh, combustion chamber combustion chamber heat will be produced heat will be there and this uh, um, in this combustion chamber it will enter the um, hp hp turbine okay in this hp turbine and uh, reheating will be there so we have to see here in this combustion chamber in the previous intercooler, intercooler we have to install the cooler and uh, this is the reheating reheating purpose we have to use the combustion chamber in this uh, that is in this uh, point so we have reheater we have to install here the reheater after completion of the reheater it will went to the LP turbine so LP turbine after completion of LP turbine then went to the exhaust of uh, one side is the exhaust and the other side is the uh, work, uh, work done so after completion of that one so the output of the gas turbine so can be improved by expanding the gases in two stages with a reheater between the two okay then it is the uh, the HP turbine drives the compressor and the LP turbine provides a useful power output so we have to see here this is the um, air into the system and this is the uh, compressor the main concept of the compressor is to, go, to compress the uh, to compress the air and then went to the combustion chamber combustion chamber what will happen here is to compress combustion chamber heat will be produced okay after completion of heat will be produced here hp turbine will be there the main concept of the turbine is to rotate the blades okay so and then uh, we have to install the combustion chamber or uh, reheater then after completion of the exhaust and the work output okay and the power output then uh, this is the ts diagram for closed loop cycle turbine so we have already explained in the previous slide 
that is the intercooling and this is the um, reheating so 1 to 2 1 to 2 process that is the 1 to 1 to 2 dash process is the compression and the 2 to 3 combustion chamber that is the 2 to 2 dash to 3 combustion chamber the, that means the heating will be created and the 3 to 4 uh, 3 dash to 4 dash that is the turbine that is the expansion and the 4 to 5 heat uh, reheater that is also he, uh, heater and the 5 to 6 dash turbine expansion so 5 to 6 dash this is the turbine expansion okay then this is the last topic of uh, the third unit uh, that is the uh, regeneration so the, in this re regeneration so the exhaust gases from the turbine carry a large quantity of uh, uh, heat with, uh, with them since their uh, temperature is far above above the ambient temperature so here the heat exchanger will be there because of reheater regeneration we are using that most that's why that's why we have to use the uh, heat exchanger so this is the compressor and this one is the turbine to make the concept of the compressor is to compress the air or uh, fuel and the turbine it has some blades so when the force will be acted on that particular uh, turbine then the blades will be rotated and the, it, it has the uh, when the blades have some shaft will be there that is the shaft will rotate the work done will be completed so this is the main thing of uh, regeneration so they can be used to heat air, uh, air coming from the compressor there, uh, thereby the reduction the mass of the fuel supplied in the combustion chamber okay and the closed gas turbine power plant and its uh, characteristics so we have to see here this is the um, heat exchanger heat first of all we have to take the first point is a uh, uh, compressor of com uh, completion of that compressor to compress the air and then go for the heat exchanger so heat exchanger heat will be exchanged from one form to the other form then after completion of heat exchanger it will run to the turbine um, and then heat exchanger it is a recycling process continuously Okay, so that is the thing. And the closed gas turbine power plant and its uh, characteristics to the exhaust process is uh, replaced by a constant pressure heat rejection process to uh, do the ambient temperature. I already explained the previous uh, slides. So this is the some of the merits uh, closed closed gas turbine. Uh, some of the merits and the demerits. So this is the merits of uh, closed gas turbine. That is the higher thermal efficiency, reduced size, no containment, uh, containment. so uh, improved heat transmission, lesser fluid friction, so no loss uh, in working medium, greater output and uh, um, inexpensive fuel. Okay, these are the some of the uh, regularly we are using in this gas turbine power plant. So these are the some of the important points, and uh, these are the uh, demerits. Large amount of cooling uh, water is required. So they depends uh, dependent uh, system, not uh, economical for uh, moving vehicles as weight. That is the uh, kilowatts uh, developed is a high range. So that uh, that's why we are uh, uh, these, these are the some of the demerits. So so in this uh, uh, class, what I have discussed is the first thing is the uh, um, actual cycles. That is the uh, simple cycles. So that is uh, simple simple cycles. So the um, and, uh, first point is uh, ideal cycle. Second, closed cycle. Open cycle. So it has some intercooling, reheating, regeneration. Intercooling, reheating. regeneration so this is the last topic of uh, third units al already completed next class onwards i will explain the problematics that is uh, simple cycles ideal cycle and closed cycle then uh, uh, open cycle that is intercooling, reheating, regeneration that problems will solve in next next class okay thank you